When we first decided to become minimalist, our kids were two and five. And I remember having to go through the thinking of, okay, how are we going to minimize their toy room and their bedroom? And what type of mindset and mentality are we going to take into those spaces? Because as parents, we want what's best for our kids. And we live in this world that constantly tells us that certain toys are needed, that the more toys we have, the better our kids are going to be. The more toys they have, the more prepared they're gonna be for life. And so how was I gonna square these two thinkings? But what was very interesting was as soon as I started researching and looking a little bit into kids and toys and play, I started realizing that fewer toys are actually better for our kids. In fact, it would be setting them up to learn important skills that they would need for the rest of their lives. So let me give you what some of the research says about how owning fewer toys actually benefits our kids. What are some of these benefits of owning fewer toys? Well, let me tell you a few of them. Number one, kids who own fewer toys become more creative. Decades ago, two German behavioral scientists went into a kindergarten and they took out all the toys to see what would happen. I don't know how they got the kindergarten teacher to agree to it, but they did. And what they would say in the write-up of their study was that, yeah, it was a little difficult at first. There's a bit of transition and some boredom that set in, but it didn't take long. Within the first couple days, kids began inventing games with each other, learning to use the surroundings that they had to play and to come up with new ideas and new games together. So they became more creative, which makes perfect sense as soon as you hear it. Number two, similar but different. When fewer toys are available, kids' attention spans grow longer. Deeper play is the official term for this. Right, this makes sense. If there's a whole bunch of toys and kids can quickly move from one to another that they don't ever play very long with the one toy that they do have. But when there are fewer options, fewer toys, they learn to play deeper with the ones that they do have. That they learn to play in more sophisticated ways and more advanced ways with the toys that they do have. As soon as you hear it, it makes perfect sense. Number three, kids develop better social skills better social skills with their siblings, with their friends, even the adults in a space. Number four, kids learn to take better care of their things. If there's always new toys entering the environment, if there's always new toys being dropped off at the front door or rushing out to Target to get new toys, then you don't have to take very good care of the ones that you do have. But if there's a limited amount and you know new toys aren't coming anytime soon, then kids learn to take better care of the ones that they do have. When there are fewer toys around, kids have a better appreciation for reading and for writing and for art. Next, kids argue less with one another. At least we found this to be true in our home. Um, it seems counterintuitive. As parents, we seem to think that if there are more toys, then kids are gonna argue less with their siblings. But we found the opposite to be true, that when there are more toys, they become more territorial and arguing about whose is whose and which is which. But when there's a more limited number and they're becoming more creative and learning to play together with the few that they have, that they actually argue less. Do they argue none? No, <laughs> don't be unrealistic. <laughs> but uh, they do argue less as they learn to play better with the toys that they have. Number seven, kids learn boundaries, which is always helpful. Kids who learn boundaries become adults who learn how to set them. All of life really is about figuring out how to live my life in limited money and time and space. And so helping kids learn that skill at a young age only benefits them as they get older. Kids who have less toys develop a better appreciation for nature as they spend more time outside in the outdoors. Lastly, kids learn how to find satisfaction outside of toys, outside of the toy catalog or websites. 
If this is the limited number of toys that I have and this is where I need to find my happiness and my contentment and I need to make do with what I have, that they learn and they can find satisfaction and happiness there. And this is a skill that will benefit them the rest of their lives. I know as we began to minimize our possessions that the kids stuff was going to be an issue. And a lot of times people start their minimizing journey asking, what can I get rid of from my kids clutter? Uh, this is of course the wrong question to be asking. If you are just starting out in your minimizing journey, start with your own things, get rid of your own stuff first. But when you do get to your kids stuff, Understanding how fewer toys will benefit them will help you navigate this process together. Fewer toys will have a lifelong benefit in their lives and yours. And hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe, share them with your friends.